What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color bubbles with Copic markers. So what you'll need for this video is a drawing created and colored using Copic markers. You're going to need a colorless blender. It'll have the number zero on it and you're going to need corresponding colors of whatever liquid you're creating. For instance, I have a blue liquid here, it's a Chug Splash or a mini Chug Splash or whatever from Fortnite. I'm using blue colored pencils to do some of the bubbles. And to add some shine to your drawing, I'm using a gel pen. You can also use a paint pen that could also work, but for this video I'm just going to be using a gel pen. So with that being said, let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to take my colorless blender and I'm just going to make a few circles here and there. I'm going to kind of add some layers onto the uh, whatever your whatever circle you're making because in a way you're kind of making a lighter variation of this color so you're pretty much diluting this entire color but you're not trying to make it entirely white even though to some people that's the entire goal but we have a gel pen so we can use that for highlights but if we had a white highlight on top of something that's white we won't be able to see it so that's why we need a lighter variation of a certain color and when you're doing this you see all the watermarks on the page here that's the, col that's the color of color pencil you're going to need to make the outline of the bubbles. So I'll try to make them actual circles to make them stand out. To not make it entirely white, but just so it won't be too much of this solid blue color inside of the bubbles. Okay, now that the bubbles are actually drawn, I'm going to take a colored pencil. And remember that the colored pencil that we need is the actual outline of these bubbles. For instance, this kind of blue here. So I'm just going to take it, take the blue colored pencil and make sure it's sharp, by the way, so you can get like thin lines in there. And just go around the outer parts of that bubble. And to make it a little bit more visible. So you can pretty much leave it like this at this stage, but with bubbles, you kind of want to add some highlights to it because when you look at a bubble, there's highlights on there somewhere. So that's where the gel pen comes in. Um, to reiterate, you could also use a paint pen to do it. So I'm going to take my gel pen instead and just add like a little line off the top right hand corner. Then for like the bigger bubbles, I'd say like uh, large in size compared to the others, like these few here, you can add a few other lines to it or like a line and a dot, like a curved exclamation point. And then for like the really small ones, you could like add a dot to it. It's gonna be hard to make that same exclamation point shape on like the smaller bubbles. And you're done, that's how you illustrate bubbles. So if you like this video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I